So accurate thought involves two fundamentals, all right? The first one, you must separate facts from mere information. Let me repeat that. You must separate facts from mere information. What does that mean? So anybody can tell you anything. I can tell you that the sky is orange. So you need to be able to understand, you know that for a fact, the sky is not orange. I just said a piece of information. Jazz, Chief Explorer, huh. Yeah, sprawling city skylines on the beauty that we see. New York born and raised, so I know there's more to see. I can be your host, your usher, your guarantee. Leader of the pack, let's walk up and down the street. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Success Corner. I'm your host, Jazz, and today is the fourth installment in the 17 secrets that you need to succeed in life. Today's principle from Napoleon Hills, the 17 success principles and think and grow rich is called accurate thinking. So here's the thing about today. All you need is an internet connection and an opinion. And you can spread whatever kinds of information you would like, whether it's real or not. And depending on how imaginative or what kind of following you have, you can get hundreds of thousands, even millions of people to believe whatever it is that you said. As somebody with a media background, I actually took an entire class on ethical conduct when it relates to journalism. Now, what does this have to do with accurate thinking? As an individual, not only is it important in your life when it comes to success to accurately think, you need to be able to have discernment in the information that comes your way, okay? Because not everything that you hear has fact or truth to it, right? Even me, right? One can say, hey, Jazz, um, what about you? You could be saying a bunch of stuff that is not true at all. And this, everything that I could be saying is an opinion. Yeah, one could be saying that. Except as an individual that holds integrity to the highest regard and I am a truth seeker by nature. I am not an individual who will drink the sauce. Okay. Now this relates to accurate thinking because, right, described by Napoleon Hill, let me tell you what accurate thinking is. So accurate thought involves two fundamentals. All right. The first one, you must separate facts from mere information. Let me repeat that. You must separate facts from mere information. What does that mean? So anybody can tell you anything. I can tell you that the sky is orange. So you need to be able to understand, you know that for a fact, the sky is not orange. I just said a piece of information. But you know instinctively through your own research, that is not true. Second, fundamental. You must separate facts into two classes. Important and unimportant. Again, second fundamental of accurate thinking. You must separate facts from the important and the unimportant. It's only then can you clearly and accurately think. Because not only do you need to know if it's a fact and if it's actually truth, you also need to decipher whether it's important to you or not. Because if whatever it is the information someone's telling you has no importance whatsoever to your life, it doesn't impact it positively, it doesn't make you question things, doesn't make you actually think, it's unimportant. It doesn't matter what that person said. So if one person said, hey, you know, dogs are actually cats and they have a uh, I don't know, six tails. First of all, you know for a fact that's not true. And second of all, is that important to you? Does that in any way help your life? Pay your bills? Make you question things? Become inquisitive? No. So, you can accurately think, this person is full of BS and this has nothing to do with me. What's super important when it comes to accurate thinking? 
especially nowadays because let me tell you people the news any news it's this is not me telling you to swing one way or the other it doesn't matter if you're listening to cnn or if you're listening to fox or you're listening to some independent network online it doesn't matter okay at the end of the day what matters is money okay and in the news a term that they use is if it bleeds it reads so they want to talk about the most violent things they love a good murder they love a good kidnapping why because it instills fear and naturally a human's emotions is to oh like when they see messed up things they can't turn their eye away from it so they like to continuously talk about them because eyes viewership translates to dollars same things when it comes to you reading an article the more sensationalized it is the better it is because the more money they draw and at the end of the day somebody owns that company and it's their job to put money into their wallets so their job is not to necessarily inform you okay in order for you to accurately think you have to go and find your own information and not just from one place you need to continuously keep looking Okay, and understand it doesn't matter if it's your mother, your father, your brother, your cousin. Okay, like an opinion is an opinion, and a fact is a fact. Truth will be truth, and it doesn't matter how ignorant someone is. Okay, because anybody can believe whatever they want, that doesn't mean it's the truth. The reality is, most people are so close-minded and ignorant to believe whatever it is that they believe is truth and fact when in reality it may actually be wrong but because either they grew up in it it's been told over and over again they'll they'll go to the grave with it even if it's not true it's totally okay to gather your information and listen to people's opinions sure But in order to have accurate thinking, you need to preserve the privilege of making a decision for yourself. Listen to your mother. Listen to your father. Listen to your best friend. Right? They have opinions. Sure, you can listen to it. But from there, it's now your job to take bits and pieces of information that you feel pertains to you you believe is accurate, and then make a choice for yourself. So in addition to listening to all these different people, you need to go out and start searching for yourself information from reputable places. Because like I said, anybody with an internet connection and these fingers can say anything. But again, just because somebody states an opinion does not make it fact. So here are some points on how you can use accurate thinking to be in control of your life directly from Napoleon Hill. This is super important because it's something that as an emotional individual, I had to learn how to control my emotions and use accurate thought to make decisions. Because let me tell you from experience, one of the worst things you can do is make a decision based off emotion. Moment of silence for all the decisions I made based off emotion. Okay. <laughs> because whew, emotions, you you can't you not you can you cannot think clearly based off emotions. Because how you feel in one moment after that feeling has passed and gone away, you're gonna feel another way. And if you go off saying whatever you think. In the moment, whether you're heated, you're irritated, um, you're annoyed, and you just say whatever it is based off that emotion, and you say things you didn't actually mean, or you could have said it 10,000 other ways, it's too late. You already did it. You did it. You said it. (laughs) You can't take it back. And then when you're relaxed, you have clear thought, you're like, Wow, what did, why did I do that? Why did I say that? That was a bad decision. You must master your emotions in order to accurately think. And never, 
go off your emotions when it comes to making decisions. Another factor that can help you be controlling your life when it comes to accurate thinking. Allow no one to do the thinking for you. Because in this life, there are, quite frankly, very, very small things that you can control in your life. And one of the most important things that you can control is your own thoughts. So if we can control our own thoughts and words have power, why not make sure that we stay completely focused, turn on our brain power, and think clearly and accurately to the goals we want to succeed in life. It's the only way we can do it. And nothing great can ever happen without accurate thinking. You have to use your mind to come up with ideas, plans, goals, in order to get to where you want to go. You have to understand where you are and then understand where you want to go and bridge the gap. Now, you may not necessarily know how in the moment, but you have to understand the starting point and the ultimately end point of where you want to be. Now, that's going to take accurate thinking in order to understand both of those concepts. And then as you start to progress, things will start falling in line and you will begin to understand and think, all right, well, how do I get there? So I guess the main point that I want to discuss with accurate thinking is do your homework, people. And that even comes to me in this video series, in this 17-part video series that I'm doing based off Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich and the 17 Success Principles. Do your own research, right? I'm telling you about each principle. Now, accurate thought would tell you to do what? Okay, well... Jazz is doing the 17-part video series. She's talking about this. She's inserting analyzed material. She's citing sources. Cool. Let me go and now develop my own thought about it. Let me, let me go and read Think and Grow Rich. Let me go look up accurate thinking. Let me go look up PMA. Let me go look up going the extra mile. Definite chief of aim. Let me, let me go and search these things for myself. Read the book myself. That's accurate thinking. It's not just going off of what one person says. Now, again, like I said, I'm an individual that I don't believe in just stating an opinion. And if I'm going to state an opinion, I'm going to say, hey, this is my opinion. And then when I say this is a fact, I'm going to read the fact word for word. And I'm going to put the source up there because I believe when it comes to spreading information for it not to be false, for it to be fact for it to be analyzed, for it to be truth, because I am a natural born truth seeker. I don't like to make up things. That's that's not for me. And I think it's quite dangerous to just start saying information that is not true or that is just your opinion, because who are you? Who am I? Right? There's so much. I could live a thousand lifetimes and still not learn everything. I'm constantly learning every single day. I just take what I've learned in my life because I understood where I was, where I am now, and where I would like to be going. And I just spread it so that other people who have been in predicaments like I used to be in can go on a path to start changing their own lives. This is what this is about, right? This is what the success corner is about. These are the things that really have brought a sense of fulfillment into my life. Is helping others like I've been able to help myself because not everybody else is as self-disciplined to do it on their own, to go and do the research. So here I am in a manner that I can speak to the people and give them the information. But I want you to make a commitment to yourself and go and do your own homework, whether it comes to me, Joe Schmo over there, that podcaster there. The person that's talking on the news that you listen to, whoever it is, you still need to do your own research. You cannot take anybody's word for face value. To come up with your own thought is power. So I want to thank y'all for joining me on today's episode on the Success Corner. I'm your host, Jazz. Today's episode was Accurate Thinking. Join us next Wednesday at 5 o'clock p.m. for the fifth installment of the 17 Secrets You Need to Succeed in Life gonna be a good one i say that every time they're all good they're all good they're all necessary people again i want to thank y'all for watching please comment like subscribe share it to somebody who who's maybe in a dark time in their life you know this is all positive vibes here this is this is growth this is expansion this is success